Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the structures and function of the muscular system. Our body has approximately 700 muscles. These 700 muscles can be divided into three types, skeletal, smooth, and cardiac. Skeletal muscles are voluntary muscles, which means that we can actively control their functions. They are attached to our bones and they allow us to move. Skeletal muscles often exist in pairs, so when one muscle contracts, the other relaxes. Next, smooth muscles. Smooth muscles are involuntary, so they are not under our conscious control. They are found within certain organs, blood vessels, and airways. First, smooth muscles may facilitate the movement of blood by changing the diameter of the blood vessels. Smooth muscles may allow for the internal movement of food. And also, smooth muscles control the movement of air by changing the diameter of the airways found in our lungs. Cardiac muscles are found solely in the heart. They make up the walls of the heart and cause the heart to contract. They are involuntary muscles so we never have to think about making our heart beat. There are certain fibers of muscles, striated, smooth, and cardiac. Striated fibers are skeletal muscles and they appear to be striped, so they are called striated muscles. Stri is a Latin term for meaning striped. Smooth muscle fibers are also called visceral muscle and this is Latin term for internal organs. It is a named smooth muscle because it does not have the striped appearance of a skeletal muscle. And then cardiac muscles are similar to skeletal muscles because cardiac muscles are striated. However, they are shorter than skeletal muscles and they usually contain only one nucleus. All muscles have four common characteristics. Contractibility, excitability, extensibility, elasticity. Contractibility is when a muscle shortens or contracts. Typically, as your muscle sh contracts, one of the bones will move and one will stay stationary. Excitability, for a muscle to contract and do work, its cells must be stimulated, most often by the nerves supplying them. Nervous impulses cause the release of a neurotransmitter, acetylchlorine, at the nerve muscle junction. And this activates receptors on the surface of the muscle cell, making the muscle contract. And finally, extensibility is the capacity to lengthen or stretch. Your muscle cells can be stretched to about three times their contracted length without rupturing. Elasticity means that the muscles can be stretched or contracted by some amount above or below its resting length without damaging it. It will return to this resting length once the stimulus for stretching or contraction is removed. And finally, do you know what really makes me smile? My facial muscles. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.